Welcome back to Track Talk. We're going to be doing another game of 1882. I wanted to come back to 1882 just because the one we did earlier today ended up being kind of a strange game, so I figured we'll see if we can find a little bit of a better one. In this game, the Northwest Rebellion is happening early, and Trestlebridge is going to come with a share of the CPR. This is something I think we've seen before on the channel, where the Trestlebridge um, comes with the CPR. It means that the CPR is very easy to float, and the president needs to be a little bit careful that they don't lose the presidency to one of the other players. Um, if they were to overbid in the auction, they may be un unable to defend the presidency with this extra share coming out. Sislo, he's going to be starting us off, and he bids on Trestle. Um, Trestle is probably a better than average private in this uh, particular game. CPR is basically guaranteed to start, and um, you can expect to have some revenue from that share as a result. Cthulhu, he is also bidding on Trestle. ZZ, he's bidding on the Sketch, And Spaceman, he is joining for the Trestle Bridge. So I think the players are appropriately valuing the Trestle Bridge here. If uh, nobody takes any action, Skizlo, or sorry, ZZ may have an early pull. Skizlo may want to try and take advantage of that with a bid on the Northwest Rebellion. Um, and then one of these players will be getting a face value private almost certainly. We'll see if that's uh, the strategy he takes or if he wants to bid on the sketch. So he does take the Northwest, and Cthulhu um, probably would be ill advised to pull here. Um, in, in order to prevent an early pull, would have to build on the sketch. He's probably happy to do that. It's usually a fun private to have. Um, and bidding on the Northwest Rebellion would probably be the wrong decision. He's going to bid on the CPR. Um, so he's not going to be able to win both the CPR and the Trestle Bridge. Um, and I guess he's just excited to have the help in floating um, the CPR from the Trestle Bridge share. This is going to be an early pull, and I think Dr. Spaceman probably is the one that loses out most here. We'll see who ends up with the Trestle Bridge. I assume it's probably going to be Doctor. Everybody else has expensive privates that they have won or will be winning. And we'll see how much they want to make him work to get this. And he's up to 180 already. They are continuing to bid, surprisingly. Cthulhu does drop. He, um, of course, has taken the CPR. Can't afford to win both these privates. And Doctor, does he outbid Skizlo? I think you have to. He does, and then I expect Skizlo is probably dropping out. He sticks in. This is risky. Um, so he bids it up pretty high. Um, he doesn't he doesn't let him get away with this for cheap, that's for sure. 205. And the CPR now um, has part at 100. So Doctor has enough cash for four shares, and... Cthulhu has enough cash for four shares as well. Um, oh, sorry. Doctor has enough cash for three shares. So the presidency is secure for Cthulhu. He's going to buy another share of the CPR, Skizlo. Um, doesn't have enough cash to float on his own. Neither does ZZ Zig. Um, so going to need some help. May want to just reserve a presidency here and then see if anybody's willing to help him. Looks like he will also be investing in the CPR. I don't imagine that we'll be seeing a one-company start. Um, some of the players are just going to be falling behind on shares if that's the case. But so far, they're signaling that they're okay with that. Last share of the CPR for Doctor. Skizlo is sticking to his guns and further investing, so this could be a heavily split pre uh, presidency. And I don't think there's enough cash in the game. I guess if ZZ um, pars here low and gets help from Skizlo, he could float, but... It's uh, pretty tight. So interesting, we have a one company float. I don't know that I've seen this before in 1882. He is running towards Medicine Hat and buys two two trains. Eventually someone's gonna sell out of this company. Who's it gonna be? ZZ, he would not be able to float if he did, so I don't know that he's hoping to do that. Um, he didn't lose any cash even though he fell back because they floated the company up. Doctor, similar situation, not able to float. So we may see everybody just sit on this situation um, and then sell out in the next stock round. Yep. So this is bad for everyone except for Zizig, who's floating up, and he's going to be able to sell out first. So I wonder why Cthulhu and Dr. Spaceman are... Or not Cthulhu. Dr. Spaceman and Skizlo are allowing this. Um, they are going to be 
worse off by selling later. Hmm. CPR, probably laying medicine hat. And also heads up to Saskatoon. So he's going to lock down three of these yellow cities before anybody else has a chance to operate, probably. It's going to be dangerous to float um, a third company in this game because there's no guarantee you're actually going to be able to lay track. You're going to be left with the CNR or the QLL, probably. Tokens in Medicine Hat can run two of his trains. Could actually have run, um, yeah, just two trains for now. When he links up with Saskatoon, could run a third. We'll see if he picks up a second two train here. I do anticipate this being kind of a slow game based on how um, players have been playing so far. He does buy the third train. So I think Zizig has to sell out here and then float um, for 67, either the QLL or the, well, that's not true. He, he um, has a city guaranteed, so he's not limited. Um, he could take the GT if he wanted. And he'll take the HBR. Doctor, he is buying the sold share, so Cthulhu is okay. I mean, he's still going to be floating up. He's not losing too much net worth from this just yet. And we'll see if anybody wants to get involved with this HBR. Several players have cash to do it, but they may not want to lose priority. And Cthulhu is going to be going last again. Zizi keeps priority. There are um, three two trains left, so it would be in theory possible for the HBR to buy into the four, buy into the threes, and then buy in his privates. Um, maybe worth doing that just to get a leg up on these other players. It would make the HBR quite poor, um, and would prevent him from floating the sketch if he were to buy that in. So, just because the sketch is a unique private, maybe not worth it. Probably want to hold on to that and leave that company available to you later. Laying towards Saskatoon. And he actually has the ability to lay this double dip before the CNR floats too. So he controls, you know, how good that company is going to be potentially. Running three trains, 140, and he pays that out. It's split presidency, so helps everybody else almost as much as it helps him. HBR's first operation. Heading to bypass a uh, pile of bones, it looks like. That's unusual. Much more common for them to lay the double dip or lay a gentle curve and then lay the double, a uh, sharp curve and then lay the double dip. Buys a two train and just buys two of them. So will we see Skizlo sell out here and float? Um, I guess only if Doctor allows it. I think Doctor is probably the one to float. He should just sell out of the CPR. CPR has been running right, um, but is still going to be nowhere near the ledge. So it's going to hurt the net worth of Cthulhu um, quite a bit here. He instead is just going to buy paying shares, and Skizglo could sell out to um, start his own company as a result. Looks like he does. Sisulu, um, Cthulhu needs to buy one of these shares or lose the presidency, potentially. Um, well, actually, Doctor doesn't have the cash to take that from him, probably. If you're Skizlo, which company are you taking? Um, all the yellow cities are taken, so kind of as noted QLL or CNR are going to be his only options. CNR going to be hard to float that above the CPR despite the sale and shares so really not a safe float. Looks like QLL is his best option and that's what he takes. Cthulhu is going to buy another CPR. Of course this is going to be running pretty well for the foreseeable future and QLL is just going to be left to float on his own. He does lay um, the dit, uh, the dit for the CNR. It's not a good dit for CNR, so this company is instantly uh, much less appealing. And he's just powering on towards Hudson Bay. He's going to get himself an east-west run very quickly, it looks like. Running for 140 again, and he pays out. QLL, he takes the western half of Pile of Bones. Bad news for the GT. And he... Lays a strange double dit. Not entirely sure where he's going to be heading with that. Would have liked to see him rotate this uh, north so he could get into Moostra, but instead he's going to be going to one of the gray offboards. Buying a two. 
and um, should be buying the threes here. He buys the private, we'll have a, uh, more cash as a result in the next stock round, and HBR can now easily buy in his private as well. Buying the cheap one and leaving the sketch available for a float. Cthulhu, 100 bucks, could buy another share in the CPR, but investing more in this company is a little bit risky because it's going to be tanked by Doctor, you have to imagine. He's going to pass and wait for Doctor to sell out. HBR also passing. Doctor buying a paying share of the QLL, so signaling he's not going to sell out, and that means that um, it's safe for Skizlo to buy that CPR probably, which he does. Unfortunate for Cthulhu, I'm sure he would have preferred to have that share. He buys a QLL and is probably hoping that Skizlo will continue to give him priority. Looks like he will, so everybody else should be passing. CPR just continuing the long trek uh, northeast towards Hudson Bay. Instead, upgrading Medicine Hat, so we'll be running um, for another 20 bucks and can head towards Western Canada soon. 160 pays it out. QLL, he heads towards the double O. Does have a three train, but we'll have to token there, which is really a bad token, in order to run both of his trains. Uh, that is going to be a worthless token for him long term, I think. Running for 100, and he pays that out. HBR gets into Moose Straw and is going to stay there for now. Has two runs for his trains. Looks like he'll be running for 100. And he pays that out as well. Second operation, does he head towards um, Western Canada? He has a fourth train now, so he's going to have really good revenue if he does. Looks like it. And he's going to be paying out for 240 now. Very high runs. This is benefiting Doctor, of course, almost as much as it does Cthulhu. Um, but Cthulhu, or Doctor needs to be a little bit careful that he doesn't get stuck with a pretty poor CPR and uh, no money. So there is some liability there. QLL, upgrading Pile of Bones, and not able to um, run both sides of it just yet. He's going to pay off for 120 buys another three, and there's one three left before the fours come out. HBR probably needs to pick that up or else he's going to be falling back trainless. He's looking to head in towards Swift Current, so there will be a east-west run probably in the next operating round. Uh, next operating round. They don't have the train length to run it, but the track connections will be there. He lays a neutral token, so the CN is a viable company now. Next stock round, Cthulhu has priority. CPR is probably too attractive of a company for him to sell out of at this point. Um, it's going to have excellent track. He may look to sell these other shares and float a company. It's going to be hard for him to do so. He is leading in net worth, but um, this parasite in Doctor is going to be a real thorn in his side. So he buys a paying share in the HBR and then tanks it. This does lose him the first choice of company, but... Who is he competing against? I guess, doc I guess Doctor. So maybe not ultimately going to be worth it to trash the share um, for an $8 benefit if he loses out on the Canadian National, for instance. Zvig passing. Dr. Spaceman, he is selling the QLL. Is this a signal that he's looking to par something? Looks like it. And he actually takes the GT. Uh, GT... There are yellow cities available for it, or at least one, and he can link right up into Moostra and get into this um, nice east-west corridor that's been created. This does mean the Canadian National is still available. Skizlo, he is selling his own company. Is he looking to par? Looks like it. So that's pretty nice for him, and he takes the Canadian National. So that's the danger. Um, Cthulhu was kind of playing games and in maxing his net worth by tanking shares and he's going to be left with some bad companies um, as his only option for a second company. He buys uh, another CPR and Zizig is continuing to pass. 
Dr. Spaceman, I, he's not going to be able to float without selling some shares, but he's going to work on it slowly. Skizlo is also buying his CN. And as noted, Dr. Spaceman needs to sell two shares, it looks like, um, to float uh, his GT. And that's what we see. Bad news for Cthulhu. He did buy that six share and is now losing um, $40 of value. Skizlo is close to floating. Cthulhu, he has a lot of cash. He's just sitting on it for now. Probably regretting that he sold down the HVR now because he has nowhere to put his cash. Could buy some um, QLL, but it wouldn't necessarily be safe. Czig is picking up these sold shares of the CPR. And Doctor is one share away from floating. The bad news for the CPR is that these new companies are going to float and um, he's going to be operating way ahead of them. So he's not going to be able to pick up potential permanent trains if they break through to those. The good news, the um, counter to that, is that he's going to run his two trains before they rust them. So he'll have another excellent revenue of 240. He buys a CN. Is he just going to trash shares? Everybody's buying. So if you're Dr. Spaceman here, I think you sell rather than look for a second share just because you're hurting every opponent of yours um, with a sale. Instead, he's going to give the opportunity to Cthulhu, who should buy the second share and then sell both of them to hurt all of his opponents. He's just going to pass. And now I assume he sells. He does. So um, that was also preventable from Cthulhu's perspective. And he will just buy um, one of the cheaper shares. Dr. Spaceman is probably going last in priority um, and floats his GT. So by tanking the CN, he gets to operate before it. I don't know why that's his desire. He'd probably prefer the CN to buy the last three than him buy it. Um, but regardless, he could sell a share of the GT and have it operate down. Maybe that's his plan. Uh, nope. So he's just going to be buying a three and potentially a four where he didn't need to. CPR, happy that he's running his two trains one last time. They look to withhold. Um, his revenue is going to be very good, and he's going to be needing this cash for a permanent train soon. This opens up the um, east-west to HBR. GT probably not going to be able to get over there in time. Instead, linking up with a QLL. QLL might be upset to see that track laid, um, but has no one to blame but himself for <laughs> laying that double dip the way he did. Um, this is going to prevent him from running into both ends of a pile of bones. GT buys a three and a four. So CPR um, dodged that bullet and Dr. Um, basically put himself out of permanent train money by having the CN operate behind him for no reason that I can discern. He buys his private, now he's really poor. And he bought it in the first operating round of the set, so he misses out. For the trestle bridge, probably less important than uh, for a traditional private, since it doesn't have a fixed income, but still, you're missing out on opportunities for potential income. Canadian National linking up with Swift Current, probably. It does. He needs to pick up at least one four and probably will just stay there um, and save money for a permanent train. So he does buy two of them. Not sure why that is. He's opening the permanents up for HBR and for the QLL. QLL can't afford it. HBR with a withhold. Well, actually, he's falling back. So he's going to emergency buy a permanent. Why would you buy both, both fours instead of forcing him to buy emergency buy the four and then um, picking up a five yourself? That doesn't, that doesn't track. He could shuffle trains out of the QLL, but he's going to lose a run on it um, unnecessarily by doing that as well. And he's not doing that. So yeah, I mean, if you hadn't bought that four, HBR is guaranteed to emergency buy it, and then the fives are still available to the CN. Very strange decision to buy both of those fours. HBR upgrading loose draw does have a token, but needs to be aware that he's going to need cash um, 
for a permanent train right now. He does lock down Swift Current, probably the right move, as long as he can afford this train without having to sell too many shares. Looks like he can sell just one. So he sells a CPR. It's going to be running a lot worse um, now that the two trains have rested, and he will pick up the first five. We are in brown. QLL upgrading Asinobia and has no um, tokens because he threw one away for no reason. He does drop a neutral token, which I'm sure the CN player is happy to see, um, but going to probably be tokened out very soon here. Running two three trains, and he pays for 210. CPR, kind of a pathetic company at this point, but with some, um, maybe with, with a hold he can get to the five, in which case he's going to be quite good, quite happy. Um, he has a six stop east-west run, but he could bypass one of these cities without too much difficulty to get a long-term east-west. He's upgrading Medicine Hat, and he runs for 160, which will be plenty if he withholds for the five. He does, and the fives are gone. There is still the sketch in the game, um, so we may see a third six, but it's going to be hard for Zizig, I think, to bring that out. He had to use all of his cash that he would have used to float um, in this emergency buy. So I don't think we'll see a sketch. I think someone's going to bring out the six before they have that opportunity. Maybe someone will float that uh, CNR. It'll probably be Dr. Spaceman after that Trussell Bridge buy-in. He's pretty flush. Um, CNR is not an impressive company, but you know, with a run into Saskatoon, could look to make something work. GT running two trains. Linking up with Shanavan and probably heading over to Medicine Hat long term. He's running for 220 and he pays that out. CN running two four trains for no reason that I can I can tell. Um, upgrades with Dina and he's gonna run for 270, pays that out. QLL does have nearly enough money for a six train. Um, it's because he shuffled um, trains into the CN, so maybe he brings out the six. It would be a withhold to do it. He's going to have enough money. I think he'll do it, and that will kill the sketch. Okay, so only the Canadian uh, CNR is going to be available. He could sell down on the CN and look to start the CNR. CN with $1 and two non-permanent trains is probably safe for him to sell out of. That would lock up two shares for Cthulhu as well by filling the market. I don't think anybody would want to steal that presidency. HBR. Upgraded Wadena and running his new five. Can't quite reach the east-west, but just like CPR, he may be looking to bypass Loose Jaw or Wadena or even Swift Current um, to get that east-west run. Next stock round, does Skizlo sell out of the CN? He does, immediately. CNR will be floated and will be grabbing a six. HBR, he is being bought. Zizig, he's buying a CPR. Dr. Spaceman, buying the last CPR. So Cthulhu, gonna be a one president kind of guy and just running the CPR from start to end. We'll have decent revenue, still has tokens, um, may have to withhold to take advantage of them, but probably worth it um, to mess up these other companies, especially once the D trains come out. Skizlo, he is to continuing to float. CPR, or Cthulhu, buying an HPR. Zizig, buying the QLL, has a permanent train. Could look to pressure this presidency. Um, Skizlo, Hard CNR kind of low, so he probably can defend here. Um, but it might be hard. He needs $240 more, so he does have $100 um, roughly to defend this presidency. Yeah, it's it's a safe bet. Doctor buying an HBR, and Skizlo going to continue working on the float. May have to detour for the QLL, but not the end of the world. Cthulhu, HBR is now floating. And Zizig continues on his quest for the QLL. 
doctor is going to um, buy a share of the QLL and basically guarantees that the presidency is secure as a result. Skizlo, not worried about the QLL, happy to run a split presidency if needed. And Cthulhu is passing. Doctor, he's buying a CN. Safe for him to buy one share, and this allows Cthulhu to sell out of there, which I, well, I imagine that the CN is going to be doing some withholding, so if I'm Cthulhu, I probably sell a share. This also opens up a dump from Skizlo. Is he looking to actually get rid of the CN, or was he just hoping to secure a second float? So this is potentially bad news for Cthulhu. Um, he may end up with a presidency he wasn't anticipating. With two four trains and um, one six train available, he could run this as a two share presidency withhold and bring out a D train. That wouldn't be the end of the world, I don't think. Sislo is buying the QLL, not dumping. There is an opportunity for Cthulhu to just take the presidency of the CN, but the fact that he hasn't done this to date makes me think he's not actually eager to do it. So he's just going to sit <laughs> and leave his fate up to Skizlo, who is operating ahead of him. So unless Skizlo operates last, which is kind of out of his out of everybody else's control in some sense, um, Cthulhu is in a very dangerous spot. He needs to either decide he wants the presidency and take it, or he needs to sell a share. This could really backfire for him. Dr. Spaceman passing. Skizlo floats the CN, so right now Cthulhu will have priority, but if Dr. Spaceman messes it up for him, he's going to be in a very tenuous situation. And it looks like everybody's going to pass, so Cthulhu is safe um, from the dump, but Again, I'm expecting the CN to be withholding. Um, it's close to yellow, too. So I guess the strategy here is to hope that the CN withholds and then is left in a viable position and Cthulhu can just steal the presidency in the next operating round with priority. Maybe that's what he's hoping. CPR, looking to bypass Wadena. And he's paying for 220 GT. Heading towards Medicine Hat. This is bad news for the HBR. HBR has no cash for a token. GT does have cash for a token, but he's going to have to pay expensive terrain to do it unless he heads up to this yellow, which is going to slow him down. So I think HBR probably needs to withhold for this token or else he's going to have his trains um, cut. GT running the four. And for 150, he doesn't have any permanent trains. May need to do some withholding. Paying out for now. CNR first operation, going to pick up the last six. And actually heading up to Spiritwood instead of down to Saskatoon. That's interesting. Buys the six and has $200 left over. HBR, he is going to bypass Medicine Hat. And does he withhold? He's paying out for now. So I guess he doesn't care about the token of Medicine Hat, actually. Won't have to withhold. He can just... Um, bypass it when the GT gets there. QLL. He is upgrading that random double O that he values and running for 200. He pays out. CN probably withholding to stay yellow. Running for 300 and he pays it out actually. So that's fine with Cthulhu I think. Um, he's going to have more money in the treasury and could just take that company. Running the five train, not going to be able to bypass Wadena in this operating round, but potentially can in the next one, or he could just complete the bypass that HBR has laid for him and get the east-west run that way. So it looks like that's what he'll do, and he's going to be running for 330 with that east-west bonus, so very nice. GT. He is upgrading his home, and he runs for 160, 170, and pays. HBR also going to be running the route that the CPR is running. Why did GT leave a token on Moose Jaw? There's already a neutral token there. When did he do that? Did he do that um, last operating round? He, he didn't. I don't know when he did that, but that's pretty weird. 
Because that neutral token was laid before the GT even floated, I think. So running for 330, CNR. He is laying a double O. Ian lays a neutral token there. That doesn't help the Canadian National very much, I don't think. Um, Canadian National unlikely to be able to link up with that. Or it will be very expensive over the, all these rivers to get there. Running for 100. Pays out. QLL. Running for 210. 230. Pays that out. Canadian National. Two four trains again. Um, not going to have an east-west run until someone lays into Medicine Hat. Could be him. And even, well, actually with that, he's still not going to have an east-west run. He is upgrading the double dit and can hit Regina with that. So he's paying for 330 and he pays that out. I imagine if you're Skizlo, you need to shuffle a train out of the CN and then buy it back into the CN to deplete this treasury or else you're for sure going to lose that presidency. You'll probably lose it either way, but um, you need to leave that cash very, that, that company very cash poor. CPR, looking to bypass Wadena. It's actually a little bit less important now that uh, Medicine has Medicine Hat has been bypassed, but wants to be productive on the map. Paying for 330. GT, he is looking to bypass the expensive track into Medicine Hat and get into Elkwater, but it's still pretty expensive, and he's not going to be able to um, run into Medicine Hat with $0. It also gives him a dip that he's not going to want in his long-term run. Would have made more sense to lay the gentle up this way, get into Medicine Hat from the north. Running for 170, and he pays. He's going to be falling on a D train um, in the near future, I have to imagine. Surprised that he is not doing any withholding. He does have full um, presidency in this company. He's technically in first place right now, but I don't think that's going to stand. He's in first place just because he's been um, a parasite on the CPR the whole game. HBR, he is blocking the bypass of Wadena. Not entirely sure why. It doesn't really help the HP, uh, CPR to bypass it. And we'll see continued development in the northwest. He's running for 110 and pays it out. I imagine he didn't buy the train over from the CN. He needs to do that with a QLL to be able to deplete that uh, treasury. QLL running for 250, paying out, and he's going to leave the CN with like probably $300 um, towards the D train. CN helping the CNR get over to Western Alberta. Runs for 330 and pays it out. So Cthulhu needs to take this presidency um, and then withhold it into yellow and bring out the D train. And I think he'll win the game with that. The market has $4,000 in it. So I guess it could potentially break, but I think he needs to rest Dr. Spaceman's four. Sells a QLL and takes the presidency of the CN. So that was pretty predictable. Zizig, he is now at a cert limit, picks up the cheaper QLL. Dr. Spaceman cert uh, locked, passing. Sislo also cert locked, could sell out of the CN. Uh, it's gonna pass. Cthulhu Dreams, he um, has extra cert room as a result of the second presidency and buys another CN. So, Let's think about that for a second. On the one hand, CN is probably going to be a pretty good company, but on the other hand, you're, I'm anticipating he withholds on it um, uh, twice. So is it worth it to buy that share, or would you rather have a share in the CNR or the um, GT? Probably not the GT, but maybe the CNR. Everybody's passing here, it looks like. And priority will end up with uh, Zbig, or Zzig. CPR. He could, in theory, withhold on the CPR and look to bring out the D-Train in this set rather than withholding twice on the Canadian National. It might be worthwhile to do that. You want to make sure the bank doesn't break before the D-Trains come out. 
He's paying for 330. Does he withhold? He pays out. I don't know. So if he withholds and buys a four train over, he's going to have 660. He would just need um, another $170, which should be pretty easy to achieve with a four train for the D train upgrade. I think that probably is more efficient. It hurts to withhold, but um, you only have 60% compared to 30% of your um, company. So actually withholding on the CPR is probably, um, I guess there's a three share difference between Cthulhu and Dr. Space in both of these. So get the share appreciation from the CPR rather than withholding. GT has no money. He also lays a neutral token and he lays it on Regina, it looks like. That's pretty good for the Canadian National, actually. And HBR, he is continuing to just lay a weird track in the Northeast. Runs for 330 and pays out. QLL, he is running through Regina now for 250. Canadian uh, CNR, heading towards Northern Alberta, paying some um, expensive track to get there and is going to be running for only 190. So this uh, gambit with the CNR is not really paying out for Skizlo. He really fumbled by losing the Canadian National, I think. Canadian National probably withholding here. Looking to, I guess, bypass Swift Current and eventually get an east-west run um, by running through this crossing track. He is running for 350 now and should withhold. He pays out. Mm. So he's gambling that the bank breaks, which is a good bet. And is that kind of revenue going to be enough to put him over a doctor? He's running for a little bit over 100 more. And he's actually already ahead of him. I thought doctor was leading. Was he not? No, Cthulhu was in the lead. Okay, well, I misunderstood that. So if that's the case, then certainly just pay out until the bank breaks and you win the game. Easy enough. CPR, laying track for the Canadian National to eventually bypass. GT, running just a kind of miserable four train, 170, pays out. HBR, running the same route. QLL, nothing interesting, 250 and pays out. CNR, does um, have some track he can upgrade, but he's not going to be getting an east-west run. So just going to run Spirit Wood for an extra $10, 200 Canadian National. He's getting close to affording a D-Train with a single withhold just because he has these market shares. Paying for 370 this time. And the market is going to break before he um, brings this out. But ultimately, the way he played this, um, if the bank didn't break here, he could have withhold once with the CN, bring out the D-Train, and then just run away with this game. So he's going to win regardless of what happens, but um, the uh, CN didn't play the way I was anticipating. So with that said, I think we can just skip the rest of this game. Um, nothing anybody does matters. The bank's going to break um, easily. And probably before the CN even operates, um, 300 here, 660, and then... This is 1,000, 1,100 something, 1,200. So actually, does the bank break? It's going to be close, closer than I expected. We'll see. He's spending some track, or he's spending some cash. That makes it less likely that the bank breaks. Um, it's going to be very close. So I think, you know, $20, $40 could make the difference here. GT continuing to run for nothing too good. How is he running for 300 all of a sudden? What am I missing? So he has an east-west run all of a sudden. Interesting. So they um, bypass that CPR built for the Canadian National is coming back to bite him a little bit. That's a pretty massive increase in his run. All right. Well, that maybe changes the calculus and means the bank does break, though. HBR running for 330. Canadian uh, Canadian Northern, another $10. QLL, he is running for $250 still. And does the bank break? $569, it does not. 
So in that case, I think you withhold for the D here. Um, unfortunately, he does not have priority. He's going last, so he's not going to be able to buy any more shares in this company. But still, your nearest competitor is Dr. Spaceman. Absolutely, rust the, uh, rust the floor. He has $0. He's going to have to pay $1,100 out of pocket for this. Withholds 500 and does bring out the D. So I was, I was kind of waffling about whether or not the game was going to end. It ultimately does not, which is um, pretty crazy. But um, the bank had five, $500 in it, and he ran for 500 So like I said, the $69 was the difference between the bank breaking and not. Uh, the CPR alone spent $60 in this operating round. Did anybody else spend any money? Because if not, the bank would have broken if they hadn't done that. Um, so CPR spent 60 and it looks like nobody else spent anything. So the bank wasn't going to break either way. Or, yeah, bank wasn't going to break. All right, into the next stock round. Everybody's got to snap up one share of this Canadian National. And Doctor is probably motivated to sell down out of the GT at least one share. Zizig is passing. That's incredible. You have a D-Train that's available. Um, Dr. Spaceman should sell at least one GT for a CN here. And just passes. Skizlo passing as well. Um, certainly Cthulhu will sell an HBR to pick up this Canadian National. And he just passes. Hmm. So I guess everybody just assumes the game's over and they're not going to bother. In one sense, that's fair. But on the other hand... I like to see people play games out. CPR running for 330 still. HBR also running 330. Track is kind of determined at this point. GT has to pay, what is it, $1,100 for a D train BC somehow $0 in his company, not even a single dollar. And that is painful. QLL running is six and paying for 250. CNR, he is upgrading. He's just tokening, like kind of a random token. And running for 210. I want to see what this D train is running. So he can get through Hudson Bay, Wadena, Regina, Asinobia. So he's going to have a pretty nice run um, because he's hitting all the revenue centers and uh, getting the east west bonus. He's actually styling on everyone now and just improving his run a little bit more. Uh, by linking up Elkwater. So running for 520. It's actually not that much better than it was when he was running the two four trains. Um, so the bank is broken, right? No, it actually hasn't. Uh, we'll break in this operating round. Cthulhu is $800 ahead of the nearest competitor and is going to be running for way more than everybody else. So he has won the game. I don't really care to see the D train run of the GT. We'll just skip to the end and congratulate Cthulhu. So he um, ran the CPR the entire game and he was a worthy president. He It's enough to win him the game. I think there was a big error on um, Skizlow's part with the Canadian National. He should have played that differently and not given a viable Canadian National to Cthulhu. But ultimately, um, I don't know if that makes a difference because Cthulhu, we agreed, was going to win the game even without the D-Train. So, I don't know. I think he was just far enough ahead. Surprised that he was able to pull it off. The CPR is a hard company to win with um, just because, as we saw with Dr. Spaceman, you tend to accumulate a lot of hangers on. So even if you're running really well, the net benefit to yourself is pretty low compared to your opponents. Um, but he managed it. The fact that the sketch didn't come out too... Um, really changes things, makes the um, train rush a little more brutal because you don't have the extra permanent, and it also makes it harder to buy worthwhile shares since more of the company, there's fewer companies in the game. CNR was a very underwhelming company, would have definitely preferred to keep the Canadian National rather than the Canadian Northern with Skizlo, um, but didn't work out for him. And then surprisingly, the map opened up uh, pretty well for all these companies. All these neutral tokens were laid in pretty 
key locations and then we had some really just weird company tokens like the gt tokening on made moose jaw after the neutral token was placed and then um, qll <laughs> throwing away token for no reason cnr this token was super late in the game so it didn't determine anything but also um, not a valuable area to lock down the map all right well enough said about this game we'll move on and we'll be back in the future with more commentary thanks for listening